What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And uh, over the weekend, there were several stand-ups and several pundits that uh, weighed in on the notorious spiraling Will Smith. Now, if you watched my first video today, you saw that Netflix has severed ties with him, including it looks like Apple Plus may have also decided to back burner some of his programs. And the rest of Hollywood is awfully mum on the situation. After the event, I talked about how I was pretty sure that Hollywood was going to wait to see how the wind was blowing before they all weighed in. And now they certainly are weighing in and they're coming down hard on Will Smith, including a stand-up performance last night by Chris Rock's brother and comments from Bill Maher roasting Jada Pinkett Smith. I'm going to get into all that right after a quick word from important channel sponsor, Meta PCs. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Meta PCs. Look, you've been around, you know that I've been talking about Meta PCs for a very long time. In fact, it's the primary computer I use, but it's not just because they're a sponsor. It's for so many more reasons. They have fully customizable, configurable PCs and all the hardest to find parts in stock and ready to go. They also have ready to ship PCs ready for you today. Here's a couple of reasons why I like Meta PCs. First and foremost, it's veteran ownership. Meta PCs is a veteran owned business. One of Meta's owners has served both in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a Purple Heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in Meta's operations center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. They offer financing. It has 100% US based sales and support. And when you receive your PC, it's ready to go right out of the box. You don't have to get complicated and set things up. You just plug it all in and you're ready to rock. And on top of that, Meta PCs is offering you, my viewer, a huge discount when you use the link in the description or you use promo code THEQUARTERING. If you use my code at checkout, not only do you save money, but you support my content and a company that will not bow to cancel culture. So maybe you're not ready to pick up a new computer today, but when you are, remember to go to metapcs.com and use promo code THEQUARTERING to support me and to save money. Hey, you don't have to be a gamer to support an awesome company who supports the channel. It's the PC I use. It's the PC I recommend to everyone. When you're ready, just remember code the quartering. I'm going to start with a hilarious quip from uh, Ric Flair, one of my all-time favorite wrestlers, saying that he still believes the whole event was staged. He wrote, I don't think it, or he said, he commented, I don't think it was real, Flair said of the slap. Tyson chimed in, if Rick, if Rick says it's fake, then it was fake. Flair explained his rationale. I can explain for myself. I'm pretty sure I'm speaking for Mike. If Mike didn't like a remark, for whatever reason, that somebody said about my wife, I would be punching them, not slapping them. Tyson concurred. It would be more than one punch, too. When you're mad at someone, you don't slap them, you punch them, Flair reiterated. Tyson, for his part, had some advice for Smith. I think Will needs to eat some of these mic bites and just chill out. I'm assuming that's his uh, product, his, uh, his uh, relaxation product. It's okay, he said. Speaking of the line, Tyson 2.0, yeah, Eddie's that are shaped like Evander's bitten ear. From there, the conversation shifted to Flair's, you know, other stuff about Ric Flair. Um, and then Bill Maher weighed in with uh, the point that, not that he took it from me, but a point a lot of people, including myself, have been making. Let's stop acting like alopecia is leukemia. Bill Maher downplays Jada Pickett-Smith's alopecia on real time. It's not leukemia. Just put on an effing wig, Bill Maher argued as he downplayed Jada Pickett-Smith's alopecia after her husband had a meltdown on TV. Bill Maher has added his two cents to the discourse around Will Smith smacking Chris Rock. The real-time host, 66, chose to go after Jada Pinkett after her struggle with alopecia struggle with alopecia Friday on his HBO show, downplaying the condition as an opening monologue before taking aim at him again later in the episode. I mean, alopecia, it's not leukemia, okay? Mar said at the beginning of his show, alopecia is when your hair falls out. There are worse things. He later doubled down on the topic in a discussion with guests Andrew Yang and Laura Coates, admitting that he first thought Chris Rock crossed the line with G.I. Jane 2 about Pickett Smith until he actually Googled what alopecia was. If you're so lucky in life as to have that be your medical problem, just say, thanks, God, he said. It's not life-threatening. It's part of 
For most people, and 80% of men, 50% of women, it's part of aging. Aging is, trust me, I know, it puts the degrad it's the degradation of the flesh. It happens to all of us. And you know, just put an effing wig on like everybody else at the Oscars if it bothers you so much, Mil Mar added. Pinkett Smith has recently opened up about, about her hair loss as a result of her years-long struggle with alopecia. She recalled the terrifying moment she was confronted with the condition in the it, terrifying terrifying moment you could buy a wig made of solid gold all right let's 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 stop acting like you're a regular everyday person and most of us just deal with it okay you know put a hat on like some guys do when their hair thins out all right it's really not that difficult um you know and it's it's interesting to me that you know if you look into who sponsored it and uh, a new a new drug that they announced this week anyway chris rock then also said he didn't want will smith removed after the word show incident oscar producer will packer says well yeah but there are also conflicting stories or, or uh, uh reports on that and then we get to tony rock um now i don't know <laughs> How many people are familiar with one of Chris Rock's many brothers? Um, I'm sure that he's probably just using this for clout, but uh, he had people show up at a show last night. Comedian Tony Rock recently hit the stage to vent about his brother. Chris Rock being, of course, hit. If you think you're going to walk up on this stage, this ain't no MF and Oscars, Tony exclaimed while performing in footage obtained by The Shade Room. Referencing his older brother being slapped during the ceremony by Will Smith, blah, 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 blah. If you walk your rear up here, you ain't nominated for S, but these MFing hands. But we're going to pop the rest of the year, N-word. <laughs> Every time you see me do a show, pop. I assume he means they're going to be roasting uh, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. I didn't want to start the show out that like, like that he continued... Throwing his hands in the air, you're going to hit my MFing brother because your B gave you the side eye. Footage of the event shows Smith laughing at Rock's joke until he noticed his wife Jada was uncomfortable with the insult, then proceeded the, uh, up to approach the never scared comic and slap him across the face before screaming, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. Tony then struts across stage before telling the crowd, oh, there's a lot of Rock brothers, y'all ain't no, it's a lot of Rock brothers. Chris, 57, is the eldest of seven siblings, including brothers Andre, Tony, Brian, Kenny, uh, and Jordan, as well as a sister. The siblings also share a late half-brother, Charles, who passed away in 2006. A representative for Tony Rock didn't immediately return Page Six's request for comment. Tony previously shared his disappointment in Smith's action after the star apologized to his brother in a lengthy Instagram post. When a fan asked Tony via Twitter, do you approve of the apology? Tony simply said, no. While Tony continues to air his grievances with Smith for going after his brother, Chris appears to be moving on from the topic, even stopping a fan who screamed F. Will Smith during his recent show in Boston. Well, you know, I don't really know. I think Chris is just winning. You know, Chris is just being quiet uh, and getting, you know, watching Will Smith's career fall apart. I'm sure he's going to make several jokes about that fact. But it can't be understated that, like, the dude was at his highest moment in his life, let himself have a weak moment, and then now he's had his Netflix show essentially backburnered. Uh, uh, Apple Plus is stepping away. Other Hollywood people stepping away. The Bad Boys um, productions allegedly also uh, being tabled. Will Smith is losing a lot of jobs. Now, maybe these, these people will just, you know, come back in, in a couple of months once things have cooled down, which I guess would make sense. Like, hey, let's not actively work with this lunatic right now. But it's nuts. Chris Rock had another sold-out performance Friday night in Boston, and he left without a trace of emotion and probably for a good reason. Chris looked stoic as he booked out of it at the Wilbur Theater. No way, real, read, real way to read his reaction to the Will Smith Resigning Academy. As we've been reporting, Chris has largely avoided, avoided the post-slap drama. And based on what we know from Chris sources, it's highly likely he didn't even know Will resigned. Chris is sticking to his routine, not letting the slap hijack his comedy act, 
Fans undeniably want to hear from him, but Chris says he'll probably address it later and warn people that it will be serious and it will be funny. I mean, I, you know, I there's no um, there's no better there's no better like <laughs> revenge than having this dude's career completely fall apart, which is exactly what's happening. And other comedians, really, a lot of comedians are just coming out and roasting both of Will Smith smacking Chris Rock and Oscars creates a new level of anxiety for comedians and stage performers, according to an expert. No, I don't really care. Um, you know, this has always been kind of a thing in comedy. I can tell you this, you know, if it weren't the Oscars and somebody got up on stage, it would have went differently. You know, that's a lot of th- something, you know, a lot of these comedy clubs, they have some level of security. And if some f- person in the crowd you know, approaches the stage, gets up on the stage. That's it's not going to go really any further than that. But uh, it's been a, a wild week to report. I hope you've enjoyed the coverage. I know you're probably getting a little fatigued on it. I, I'm hoping that this will be the end of it. If you do, please. If you do enjoy the coverage, please make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.